In a 2015 Google review of Satya Walk, a few issues are discussed. It is noted to be of a sort of a mall with 40 cafes open and labeled to be a little dead. In this video, we'll be discussing some of these issues. Satya Walk is a mixed development consisting of retail outlets, offices, an entertainment mall and serviced apartments located in Puchong. It was developed by the SP Satya's group and is considered to be a hybrid between shop offices and a shopping mall. Featuring over more than 170 retail units with 2,000 parking bays. It is adjoined with Satya Walk Residence, which is a freehold service residence completed around 2014. There are over 750 residential units on 27 floors. The mall was purposed as an entertainment complex covering over 300,000 square feet which includes a karaoke lounge and cinema. In this video, I am going to talk about a main theme which is change. The change of shopping habits and the competitive landscape. To illustrate this, there was an escape room which was a game craze from Japan where you and your friends have to find clues to escape from a locked room. Back in 2015, you must have a reservation since it was overcrowded. Today, viewers in their 20s may not have heard of this and may not even understand why you pay money to get locked in a dark room. Yep, those were the days. If you have played the escape room, give this video a like or comment on your experience in the past. So the escape room is no longer heard of in 2024. My first visit to Satya Walk Mall was during a weekday lunch. It had low food traffic and many vacant lots. My first thought was that there would be more activity with bars and restaurants being open in the evening. Therefore, I went to Satya Walk to take a second look because I could not believe that the crowds are gone. This video consists of my second visit at around 6 p.m. on a Sunday. I wanted to see the crowd and the live bands that I used to remember when visiting back in 2014. There were over 40 cafes, restaurants and bars open. I recall many live bands competing with speakers blaring and also Korean style barbecue filling the air. It was the happening place or the place to go in 2014. I wonder where is the happening place now. It is completely different now since most bars are closed. I have covered other malls such as the Evolve Concept Mall which has over 10,000 views and 100 likes. The Strand Mall which has over 8,000 views and over 80 likes. Please subscribe to follow my content. What I think is that COVID has dramatically changed the behavior of shoppers. Take a minute to think of how your own shopping behavior has changed. We probably order more things online compared to 10 years ago. We can also see this trend of cinema closures around Malaysia. What else has changed? Certainly, the competitive landscape has changed. Pavilion Bukit Jalil was opened in December 2021. The experience is on a different level since Pavilion Bukit Jalil is 1.8 million square feet. My observation is that Malaysians tend to flock to the newer shopping area when it is launched and do not mind the 25 minute drive. Another more recent development is IOI Rio City which houses Jaya Grocer was launched in 2020. Therefore, grocery shoppers have another option today and is located within 3 kilometers from Satya Walk. However, to contrast of what keeps up with change in terms of shopping malls in Puchong is IOI Puchong Mall. Till today, food traffic is decent in IOI Puchong Mall despite being launched in 1996, over 28 years ago. To compare and contrast the features of Satya Walk, to IOI Puchong Mall, two aspects come into mind, which are in terms of anchor tenant and the parking layout. Satya Walk Mall lacks an anchor tenant selling household items. It covers groceries only with red tick supermarket being available. However, if you require household items such as a pillow, you would need to head to IOI Puchong Mall. IOI Puchong has a large anchor tenant which is Aeon. Aeon offers a broader range of items in one location. Secondly, parking in Satya Mall is underground. IOI on the other hand has parking on the ground floor which is conducive for a full cut of grocery shopping. Satya Walk has ground floor parking but it is valet parking and costs 
6 ringgit. There are several negative reviews online pertaining the valet parking. A common comment is that first time shoppers find it hard to navigate due to the design despite having many elevators present. In terms of public transport access, the closest LRT is the Pusat Banda Puchong LRT which is across the LDP Highway. It is an 18 minute walk due to the pedestrian bridge located further. Pusat Banda Puchong LRT is closer to Lotus Puchong. People will shop here for groceries and household items. Alternatively, the next station for public transport access is IOI Puchong Jaya LRT station, which is only 200 meters from IOI Puchong Mall. Just to mention a few previously open restaurants and bars, the beer factory, the museum, the Brussels Beer Cafe, Sushi Te, Kenny Rogers Roasters, Starbucks are no longer operating. There are a few unique reasons to visit Satya Walk. TGV Cinemas opened since 2015 and is still operating. If you plan to watch a movie at TGV Cinema, park at B2, Block E. You can take a lift directly to Level 5 where the TGV Cinema is located. Second, there is a loudspeaker karaoke. As you can see, there are beautifully capped water features with a fountain. Water is clean and pristine with no moss or algae growing. The walkway is pet friendly and a pet store called Little Furry Island. The pet store has a playground for pets in front of the store. Lao Santong Beef Noodle which has 75 years of history, 6 years of Michelin Guide recognition. I personally tried the noodles and spotted the master from Taiwan. In summary, Satya Walk is a peaceful mall that caters for entertainment and a relaxing place to take a drink. There are open areas which are breezy, overlooking the water feature. While the vision of the mall to be a uniquely positioned entertainment mall, the question is, is it time to change to pivot to be a mall that caters to everyday needs? Do you have any other suggestions? Comment below and thanks for watching.